folks. I'm Phil Vongelo, a licensed realtor in Georgia and Alabama, and a member of the Best Darn Real Estate team here at Keller Williams Realty River Cities. Today, we'll talk about the four fundamental principles of the real estate buying process. The first principle is the rules of real estate are always local, both geographically and chronologically. If you're in the market and looking to buy a $150,000 home today in Columbus, Georgia or Phoenix City, Alabama, then you don't need to the advice based on what the market was like when your parents bought or what the market is like in Arkansas. You also don't need to know what the market conditions are at $300,000. Just plug your ears or if you have to, take the advice but with a grain of salt. The only thing you really need to understand is what the market is like at $150,000 in Columbus today. Nothing more, nothing less. Also, real estate laws and practices are local. So how a transaction was closed for your brother-in-law in California or your sister in Ontario may not be the way your closing will be handled. Of course, this is a big part of my role and that's to educate you and guide you through the whole process. Principle number two, the best on real estate deals are usually win-win. Everything in real estate is negotiable. So don't be afraid to ask for what you really want, but negotiations come to an end when both parties involved become inflexible. The solution is to find a win-win outcome that accomplishes what both parties really need. Be prepared for the negotiations by deciding where you will and won't be willing to compromise. There will always be a certain amount of give and take. Hold on to what you really want and offer up those things that the other person wants and aren't important to you. Remember, where there's a will, there's a way to a great deal for you. Principle number three, price and value are not the same thing. A common mistake buyers make is to focus on the price, not the value. This applies to the house you buy and the professionals you decide to use. Being cost conscious is always wise, but being value conscious is even wiser. Price and value usually correlate. You do often get what you pay for. Be clear about what you want and what matters, and then expect to pay a fair price for it. Cheap does not mean bargain. Think of value as quality at a reasonable price. Use this principle in buying your home and in the professionals you choose to help. After all, saving $50 today on a cheaper home inspector who completely misses a structural problem could cost you thousands tomorrow. Or a discount lender who drops the ball and delays your closing. And sellers, keep this in mind. When you're thinking about hiring a discount or a flat fee broker, what are they really going to do to help you sell your home? So don't set yourself up for hassles, headaches, and dead end deals. Look for value. And finally, principle number four, choose with your heart and with your head. Whichever home you decide on, it will be both your home and a major financial investment. This home has to be a home that you absolutely love. It fits your lifestyle. It's in the neighborhood you want. It just feels right. Well, at the same time, you'll want the home to be a solid financial asset, one that's structurally sound and is well positioned to appreciate in the future. This means balancing emotion and rationality. Go on, let your heart guide you. But when it's time to buy, step back and think with a cool head. In a few years, when you're ready to sell this home, you'll be very glad you did. Thanks for watching. I'm Phil Vong Savong, and remember, you're always home with the best star real estate team.